So it's winter time. It's hard to get out on the court. Prime time space is expensive indoors, but you can still train yourself to hit a forehand like Roger Federer by using this and your racket in your house. So how can we do that? First, let's explain what the problem is. So the problem with most recreational players, beginners, hopefully they're in the good grip, forehand grip, ball comes to them, they stand open, they use their arm, they open up on the right side, bring the racket back without rotating the shoulders, without turning the body, the unit, and they arm swing. If they do turn sideways, good thing. But non-dominant arm prevents them from really getting the Roger Federer forehand. So they'll come like this, turn sideways, drop the arm. They come back here, they hit and it's all arm, they don't rotate. Sometimes they even cross the arms like that. How many times have you seen beginners hit like that? Or even if they do rotate, they have dead arm. The arm just is dead on the side down here. So I've explained to students, hold the racket during the turn. All of a sudden I'm rotated. My arm is in the right position. And as soon as the ball bounces, I say, then you separate, you drop, you have the arm out here like you're carrying a waiter's towel. Or I try to give them the idea that they're waist deep in water. And if they drop the hand, the hand will get wet. So don't wet the hand. So they kind of stay up on this and then they open up or, or they come here and they drop down they open up too much or they still crossing the arms even with the arm up here so it's hard for beginners to get that and you need a coach to really babysit you while you're hitting balls and especially if you never recorded yourself and 99 percent of beginners don't even want to see video of themselves and they'll never record themselves and even if they look at themselves sometimes they don't recognize what they're looking at so how do you hit a Roger Federer forehand at home and get a better feel for what you're doing so what is a Roger Federer forehand basically come out rackets touching you turned you drop and the hand comes out, you saw open up the shoulder, a little lag, contact, your arm is still up here, you're kind of tucking your arm this way. And then the racket follows through and you kind of want to bring your racket here, kind of catch is a good thing. But your hand never drops, it's never dead arm. It's helping you time the shot. I usually say when the ball bounces, you separate and start to drop. You swing up, low to high, come, and you catch here. I usually say when the ball bounces, you separate and start to drop. You swing up, low to high, come, and you catch here. And this will keep you in balance. Notice the head. And this will keep you in balance. Notice the head, the body is in balance in the rotation. You're not throwing shoulders this way. Where's my energy going? That way. No crossing, no rotation. It's all right there. Very simple. Look at slow motion video, Roger Federer. Boom, compact, nice and easy. All the energy from the legs is going to be transferred into the rotation of the shoulders and into the ball. And you don't even have to put hardly any effort to hit a nice neutral ball and come here super balanced. It's a great feeling and that's real tennis. So where does the strap come in? So what I want you to do is hold the strap here however you hold it 
get in your grip. You're gonna come here, you're gonna take the measurement from here and then drop the racket. So from here, I want you to measure your arm to here. So you're going from here to here. And then as you swing, you come forward and you go there. So this will be your guide to help you get the feel of keeping your arm in the right position because you can easily see from here to there. See the angle? If my arm was down, it would be down here. You could easily see that and make the correction. Up here, see the way the string is and you're touching the racket? If I had dead arm, I'd go like this. Look at the way the racket's here, dead arm, semi-dead arm. If I open up too much, ugh. I'm stretching, no good. I'm opening up too soon. Right here, I'm keeping the arm within decent range where I don't open up. This way I drop, hit, tucking my arm in, contact. I'm not opening up too much or too late. Arm crossing, I got slack. I'm coming through too fast and not getting the arm out of the way right. So I'm not rotating with good timing, lack of rotation, and it turns into an arm swing. And you can easily feel and see that with this guide. So come here, racket, turn, drop, boom, a little tension, boom. This prevents WTA forehand also for taking it back too fast, too far. See how much stretching too far? I want it from the side. Boom, right here, ATP forehand drop. All the way through. Nice loop there. Too far stretches. You'll feel the resistance. So this is a nice little guide. You don't have to do it on the tennis court. You can do it on the tennis court. But this can be done in your living room during the winter during non-court time, and you will develop a good timing for proper shoulder rotation, off racket hand placement, and balance. This will keep you in the right form without having a coach babysit you and make constant corrections and you're trying to develop a feel without anything to help you develop a feel. I think this really helps you develop the feel. And as soon as you start to get good, then you kind of know what you got to do and your muscle memory will kick in. And you'll be hitting nice ATP, well-balanced forehands, break the elbow, get your reps in, in your house. Because by the time you get out to the court, you'll be looking like Roger Federer and hitting uh, controlled, well-balanced forehands like Roger Federer.